The ex-JAM registrar, Ojerinde, owns eight companies and houses, ICPC tells court. Hello and welcome to the news. The Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offences Commission, ICPC, narrated before the Federal High Court in Abuja how former registrar of the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, JAM, Adedibu Ojerinde, floated eight companies while it was in office. The commission equally told the court that Ojerinde, who is facing trial for allegedly diverting public funds totaling about 5 billion naira, purchased three buildings and brought several shares through his cronies. A principal witness in the matter, Mr. Peter Oyewole, told the court that he acted as Ojerinde's personal lawyer at a point during which he aided him to incorporate companies and purchased properties that included two duplexes and a bungalow. He gave names of the companies as Okeafi Boys and Girls Hostels Limited, Shapati International School, Doing Obohi Petroleum Limited, Sheng Mabels Limited, Standout Institute Limited, Trillion Learning Center Limited, Grace Petroleum Limited, and Ifelodo Communications Limited. Certificates of incorporation for the companies and title documents of the three buildings the defendant allegedly purchased in Abuja while he was in office were tendered in evidence and admitted as exhibits by the court. Led in evidence by ICPC counsel Mr. Ebenezer Shogunle, further disclosed that the former jam registrar was a director in two of the companies while he used his cronies as directors in the rest of the companies. The witness said he never met any of the persons or during they supplied their names to at the time he was perfecting registration process for the companies at the Corporate Affairs Commission CAC. He gave names of some of the alleged cronies used to register the companies as or during the Dayo, or during the Olumide, Awo Dayo Abib, Adeyon Jubenga, or during the Olutoin, or during the Akonbi, or during the Adi Dayo. Olai Wola Anyonwale and Ibrahim Damusa, Ojerin De Dibu, Sanusi Alade, Najim, amongst others. According to the witness, receipts obtained in the course of transactions for the defendants were received and acknowledged in writing by his son, who is a serving member of the House of Representatives, Honorable Olumide Ojerin De. More so, the witness tendered 12 correspondences re exchange with the defendant as well as 17 photocopies of bank drafts that were issued to him after they registered the companies and purchased the three buildings. So that's an update about the ongoing case of the ex-registrar of Ojerinde. Ojerinde was known to be somebody who brought a kind of innovation to jam and you know through various methods or new policies he made and all of that. But even before he left office, they were out outcries about how the man has been mismanaging the funds of JAM. JAM, known as the Joint Admission and Multiplication Board in Nigeria, is the board that is in charge of children or students who are leaving secondary school to gain admission into the tertiary institutions. As a very, very um, notable institution responsible for this, a lot of powers is you know held in their hands where you know the when the exams are done how to allocate the exams across different centers in nigeria how to dispatch personnel how to pay personnel around the business how to make sure the results are marked and distributed on time and all of that so it's always a nightmare if a child who has sat for jam in any nigerian um institution it does not get the required cut of mark so the jam determines what cut-off mark will be available for different courses across the different um, courses in the university. And also, you need to know that there was something also left for the university to conduct their own internal examination aside the jam. Of course, anything that around human endeavor needs um, resolution, needs rejigging and all of that or review at some point in time, it will take 
masterminds of people who have the true um, interest and value of education in mind to make sure that anytime they are put in position of office, they do the needful. As we know, education in Nigeria is not what it used to be, but we still come up tops as one of those countries where, you know, our products speak so well anywhere they go in the world. That shows that we know what we are doing. But when we have men like this at the end of our affairs who have used the money to build a lot of industries for himself, then it calls for concern. So we are waiting for an update on this seating of the courts that the IPC, ICPC took against the ex um registrar or jeremy day but i must say that for us to get it right in education in nigeria we need to do better our children cannot just be going out of nigeria and be doing so well while internally we are not putting the structures in place so what's your opinion on this please drop your comments in the comment section below thank you very much i'll see you in my next news bye